Okay. Um, I can see how close this is right now, but like I said, the engine slides, so it's going to be moved back a little ways. Um, but everything is looking like it's clearing. This spring from TSC looks like it's going to work just fine for doing the um, We're doing the drive of the uh, pumps or transmissions. And then this here will have a spring on it. It's not hitting anything, so that's good. Hi, Chasey. Chasey! Yeah. And, uh... I gotta do a... Fix up some of the linkage, like I said, this one. I, oh, you want your tummy rub, don't you? Yeah, oh, tummy, tummy, tummy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she got scratched there. He's getting a fight. Poor baby. Poor, poor baby. So anyway, um, the crankshaft on a uh, on the Kohler is a one and one eighth. So I had to buy a reducer sleeve that goes from one one eighth down to one inch, which uses a rectangle key instead of the standard square key and you can see it looks like it's it's got etchings in it that's because I took the grinder to it and I also took the grinder to the collar because with their plating and everything that they put on there it doesn't fit so you got to grind it down a little bit or sand it um, it took quite a bit with this one, actually. I was kind of surprised how much I had to take off. But, you know, anyway. So, I will remove some of this linkage tomorrow. Weld it up, redrill it. Um, maybe replace a few pins. I'll just cut them out and put grade 8 bolts in there and just redrill a hole for it. Or, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes I can weld the pin up, sometimes I can't. Um, but everything's looking good, good clearance, and it's using the factory belts, which is nice, because it's not using a different size belt, where if I were to sell this in the future, someone would have trouble, um, getting belts, because they want to know what size to put on there. This, uh, spring, however, is just a TSC spring, because it was missing, so I don't know what exactly went there originally. But this one seems to have um, good tension without being too much tension to where it's going to be causing bearing wear and stuff. Um, I do believe I need to replace the V idler though. Up in here. This one on the. Uh... Oh, I can't see it. Where'd you go? Oh, this one right here. I do believe I gotta replace that idler, which I might have one here. Coyotes aren't out yet, so I think I'm in the clear. Hate coyotes. Terrifying things. rubbing or is it oh it's hitting the bolt so this actually that's interesting this one's hitting the bolt and the other one's hitting the bolt weird so I can pull it doesn't wobble all over though so I mean if this one's good I'll just use this idler otherwise I'll go buy one I'm not 
trying to be ch cheap or anything where I'm like, oh, I'm going to just, you know, half-ass everything and use junkyard parts. No, that's not what I'm doing. If, the, if it's good, I'm going to use it. But if it's dry and hollow sounding or whatever, then I'll just go ahead and get a new one. Because why put something on there that's about to fail? You see, this one uses or has the uh, plastic tank. This is a 20 CFC. It's got the 60 inch deck. So I do have to repair this. I got to cut this stuff off and then put a patch in fix the top and the front but this is the deck I plan on using hi Chasey did you have dinner did you did you did you did you yeah did you This one, the deck's in pretty rough shape. It's got a lot of rot. And, uh, quite a few patches welded into it and stuff. So I might just save this as a rough cut mower mowing deck. <laughs> 